start one. I feel like I'm speechless right now. That doesn't happen ever. Allison, what a great chase. Up in a blimp. What do you got? So careers are something we're told to think about as kids. Doctors, teachers, maybe reporters. But what about a blimp pilot? To find out what this job entails, I headed over to the Solberg Airport in White House Station, New Jersey. There, I met up with commercial blimp pilot Terry Dillard, who is the chief captain of MetLife's Snoopy One. So I hopped in the blimp with him, and away we went. What we're going to do is we're going to head south, go down around the Verrazano. We're going to come over top of the Verrazano, okay. and we're going to head to the Statue of Liberty. So wait, and that's and pretty much. The event we're flying over. You. What? You. Me? This whole trip revolves around I you today. I thought we over a golf thing. They don't play golf on Wednesday. <laughs> so growing up, Terry knew he wanted to be in the air. He grew up in Florida and worked in the hot air balloon business. He did that for 18 years when a successful businessman approached him about flying a commercial blimp. So he took him up on his offer. And for 25 years, he has been doing this. This is his anniversary. So 18 and then you switched to 25 in this? Yeah, I'm an old guy. No way. I'm an old guy. But I haven't broke one, so must be doing something right. He's one of 58 blimp pilots around the world. He works for Van Wagner. Wait, 58? Yeah, around That's it? 58. Yeah. Well, there's not that many blimps. How many blimps are there? Yeah. I'm just saying around the world? I don't know. 58? Right, Does so seem low to you? No, well, for only being like 20 blimps around right. the world, it actually sounds oversaturated. Uh, uh, there are too I many blimps. <laughs> <pilots. laughs> but that's regardless. <laughs> um, so figure two for each one. But his work has taken him all over the country, and he's even gotten to fly the Rolling Stones. It doesn't get any sweeter than this. No. As rewarding as it is, there is a lot of sacrifice involved. Thanksgiving and Christmas, all the holidays that you recognize, we're usually spending those on the road. I live wherever that blimp is parked that week. So how many weeks a year do you travel? Uh, I travel 11 months out of the year. Wow. Terry, however, was able to make it work. His wife, Debbie, actually traveled with him for the first 14 years they were married. We travel around the country and we change uh, cities every week, depending on the golf event. So we've made it work. He's required to fly a minimum of 30 hours a week for a MetLife, and uh, most of the time he's alone up there. The GPS here also has XM satellite, the radio, so I can get entertainment here. So we can listen to Taylor Swift together? Absolutely. Shake it. Yeah. Or whatever it is. Shake it off. Yeah, there we go. Is it hard, though? I mean, you know, you go into an airplane cockpit, and there's so much going on. Mm -hmm. Like, is there just, like, one lever and an on button? <laughs> no. <laughs> there's buttons and levels of all sorts all across the front. So wait, what does this thing on the side do? What is one thing on one side? Look at that. Right when you're coming with the Statue of Liberty and the Freedom Tower, I was speechless, and it was funny for him because he's like, this isn't even my favorite. I like nature. I've seen beluga whales from up here, and I'm like... How can you tell what direction you're going? Okay. Um, it's a GPS, right? Close. We have a thing called a compass. <laughs> it's unlike anything I've ever seen before in my entire life. 